All right, so we're going to be taking a look at a couple of intro packs. My girlfriend was able to go over to a gaming store. Shout out to Tabletop Gaming Center, Newington, Connecticut. She went there and just kind of explained that she's still new to the game. They ended up giving her Welcome Booster, as well as these two 30-card ready-to-play card decks and two reference cards. She got all these because she just walked in and said that she was uh, pretty new at the game, wanted to get started at learning how to play. So we got these as a gift from them. So quick shout out to them. Definitely check them out. And then I myself also got some other packs and boosters that we'll be opening up. So let's take a look. So the first one I'm excited to check out is the welcome booster. We'll see what's actually comes in one of these. I haven't actually gotten one myself, so it might be cool to see what actually comes in one of the welcome boosters that they give out. So, right off the rip, shiny planes, very nice. The iridescence on that thing is just spectacular. And then, their standard Welcome to the Magic Community, Booster Drafts, Wizards of the Coast, Store Locators, all that kind of stuff. And another shiny card. So it looks like it might be just a arrangement of a couple different cards from different formats and different sets. So we'll just start going through here. Demon of Loathing. Not too bad. Commander Sphere, always useful for any commander players. That looks like a like a meat to fairy kind of card where it's like a full art though. That's pretty interesting. Garrick Primal Hunter. Very nice. A little Niv Mizzet pay run from the new Ravnica set. Underworld Dreams. Archetype of Imagination. Garrick's Gorehorn. Oh, and the alternate art Fey Guide Mother. Very nice. Overall, a lot of ad cards in this one. So you got one, two, three ad cards, but with a code for Arena. So if any of you want to check out Arena. And then also the Teferi card, but overall not a bad rip. Garrick, Shiny Plains, Niv Mizzet, Commander Sphere, useful stuff. All good. I figure we'll keep the packs cracking and then check out those two decks. So the next one I have here. It's a Core Set 2020 White Theme Booster. It looks like it might be something where you pick out themes and then gets 35 cards instead of your regular booster set. So let's see what we got. So definitely going to be White Specialized. It doesn't come as like a regular booster set, more like an intro pack for some cards. So let's see what we get on here. It's all going to be M20. So my guess is that everything in here will be either white or have something to do with white or multicolored with running white. Turn step card, untap up, you draw. That might not be news for many people, but good reminder for new players. Champion, Sacred Sentry, also Purifying Light for the new clerics. It looks like clerics are going to end up meaning a little bit more if anybody's been paying attention to the new Zendikar sets that are coming out. Prismite, Moment of Heroism, good instant card if you're looking for a little protection. 
fencing ace, fire charge, soul mender, always a good classic for any white deck, clerics run two, jbh, steadfast champion, angel of vitality, squad captain, pacifism, excellent for another control, griffin protector, raise the alarm, Necessary for White Soldier. Gauntlets of Light. Glaring Aegis. Inspiring Captain. Marauder's Axe for a little equipment. Moorland Inquisitor. Salvager of Ruin. So it looks like even though that's not white, it'll be on theme for some of the things that white does where... Returning cards from Graveyard, Protection, Loyal Pegasus, Disenchant, Anvil Rot Raptor for a little bit of flying, Rule of Law, Griffin Sentinel, another Disenchant, Aerial Assault, two of those right in a row, Yoked Ox, Dawning Angel, Vial of Dragonfire, not bad. Inspired Charge, another one of those, so. And then Leyline of Sanctity. Very good white card to use, but it looks like it's a little bit different than a regular booster, whereas normally if you got two boosters with this amount in them, you'd have more than one rare. It looks like they only give you one rare in this, but... Overall, if you're looking to make a white deck, this is probably playable as is, just for at least a new beginning player. So you can probably put some lands in here, and you're ready to go. Next one we got Core 2021 set. So we'll see how this goes. Sapperling Token, Swamp, Spark Hunter Masticore, Rewind, excellent for blue control late game, Warden of the Woods, Seasoned Tallow Blade, Gnarled Sage, Bastry's Acolyte, good for a cat deck or a cleric deck really, Turret Ogre, Swift Response, Death Bloom Thalid. So I guess that's for the Sapperling token. Drowsing Tyranodon, Spined Megalodon, Rambunctious Mutt for the new dog decks if anyone's running them, Burn Bright, and Keen Glide Master. So, next one we got is a set of Aquaria. And we got a Frost Lynx, Ferocious Tigerilla. Ram through, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Draneth Healer, Raking Claws, I can see something shiny in the back there, but we'll hold off on that for now, Hampering Snare, Swallow Hole, Rooting Moloch, Rougrin, Rougrin Crystal? Cycling. These sick crystal cycling cards are very good for if you're running a cycling deck, that's for sure. Colossification. Excellent. Great for if you're trying to run some kind of weird janky fling deck. That's fantastic. Sanctuary Lockdown in full foil. 
And again, that iridescence is, is quite amazing. And Dismal Backwater, always useful. And new cat token with lifelink. Very nice. We got one more pack of Aquaria, and then we'll check out these two decks here. Another ferocious tigerilla. Interesting. Checkpoint officer. Frostvale ambush. Nice. Adventurous impulse. Always good to have a little little card advantage. Dark bargain. Nice. Essence symbiote. That's good for the mutate decks. Light of hope. Always, always good to have. One of these little Swiss Army cards running around, just so that way you have a little bit of something you can do, especially for standard, where you're not going to get a lot of turns off, so making more things happen could work out for you. Shredded Sails. Facet Reader. Sleeper Dart. I've, I've lost a couple of games to so the Sleeper Dart. Don't look past the power on the Sleeper Dart. It'll put your people down, especially in draft. Another Sanctuary Lockdown. The Pouncing Shore Shark. Very nice. Because that's another one for Mutate Blue Control. Because this will flash and then put out. The Ominous Seas. And that's another good one for Blue Control. Also cycling. Oh, and the Titan's Nest. For the rare. <clears throat> So for the Titan's Nest, that's going to be a mana ramp, especially for if you're doing like Mutate. You can definitely use that to, to ramp up a bit. And then the Human Soldier token. Okay. So now for these two decks... Looks like they're both similar. Two ready to play 30 card decks. So we'll have to see what actually comes in each one because it looks like we have two. One blue, one white. I'm wondering if both decks in there are white. It looks like they are on theme just like how the other one was a theme booster. This one looks like it'll be white, that'll be blue. And again, shout out to Tabletop Gaming Center, Newington, Connecticut. So let's see, let's try the blue one first. And already I'm seeing, okay, might be two different colors, but one of them is blue. Comes with a little learning to play, starter deck, intro stuff, just to kind of get a feel for it. So. Riddle Master Sphinx out of the M20 set. These look like they both meet. Might be M20. White Mage. That one says Blue Mage. White Mage, Blue Mage. So, how to cast spells. Might be useful for a new player. Again, turn based. Rule instructions. So the Riddle Master Sphinx. When it's a battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its own hand. So this one might be a control deck. Coral Morpho, Cloud Concealer, Snapping Drake, Flying, Flying, yep. A little bit of control with the Befuddle, Phantom Warrior. Always a solid blue card, the Phantom Warrior. Air Elemental Classic. Captivating Dire, that's for some more control, as well as the Sleep Paralysis, a second Snapping Drake, Winged Words, unless the cast of you control creature with flying, useful for flying bird decks, Unsummon, Fortress Crab, yeah, this one seems like it's more about 
defense with the defender Mo Piranha's Octa Profit. So basic blue stuff. Easy, ready to play. Let's see what red has. Red showing the classic Shivan Dragon. Let's see what actually comes with it. So again, how to cast spells, turn phases. Move this blue one off to the side for now. So the Shivan Dragon being the main card for this red portion of this two card set. And then Mountains, Goblin Assailant, Fearless Halberder, Dagger Sail Aeronaut, Flying, but it seems like pretty vanilla creatures. Infuriate to Pump, 4 damage for Chandra's Outrage. Volcanic Dragon, always good as well. Flying with Haste for a 4 4. Can't go wrong. Act of Treason. Engulfing Eruption for more damage dealing, so it looks like it's more vanilla creatures with damage dealing and stealing, with a couple of haste as well. Goblin Smuggler, Maniacal Rage, and also Pumping, with also dealing damage. So, again, basic on par for red. Pretty standard set for red theme, which is their beginner decks, so it makes sense that, hey, they'd have a little bit more of a basic layout and understanding for each color combo but we've got two more so now it's a white pack so let's see what comes in this one again the welcome letter all right so this one does have red and it does have white my guess would be that this red is going to be the same as the Shivan Dragon pack that we saw before, but let's find out. So this one, as the rare, will be the Sarah's Guardian. Other creatures you control at Vigilance, so maybe that will play out into how the deck is structured. Flying for the Concordia Pegasus, Hadza Officer, enters the battlefield, creatures get plus one plus one until end of turn. Inspiring Captain, plus one plus one until end of turn as well. So it might be turn based pumping as well as Vigilance, so that way your creatures can attack every turn. Enters the battlefield, gain four life. Standard on for the white set. Inspired charge. Creatures you control get plus two plus one till end of turn. Pacifism. Always good. Ironclad COVID. Corvid. Corvid. Glaring Aegis. Had its officer. Shaw Valor until end of turn. So yeah, this seems to be more loyal Pegasus. Flying. Vigilance. Pump per turn. Make creatures stronger. More Pegasus. Siege, Mastodon, and Big Defense. Good. Dawning Angel. Prowling Caracal, another vanilla creature. And then, of course, your turn-based cards as well. Now, my guess is that this Red Shiving Dragon one is going to be similar structure to what we saw for the other one, but let's take a look anyway. Again, turn cards. So, Shivan Dragon, Goblin Assailant, Fearless Halberder, Dagger Sail Aeronaut, Fire Elemental, Infuriate Chandra's Outrage, Volcanic Dragon, yep, Active Freeze, and it looks like it's the same layout as each one, but still good to get an idea of what Red's all about. You're gonna be dealing damage, you're gonna be getting creatures out with haste, you're gonna be pumping up your creatures and destroying theirs, so for a beginner, it gives you a good idea of how the deck actually works, how the themes of this particular color work, and hopefully you can get an idea of how the turns and mechanics work for each one. Probably good starter decks just to start off, give people an idea for how the draft works and things like that, but overall, so far so good, pretty good haul, but uh, again, also, be sure to check out 
check out Tabletop Gaming Center, Newington, Connecticut. They were great. And then were super friendly. Uh, helped get us these cards, so that way I could put together this whole thing. But overall, not too bad. Got a couple cards. Let's see if we can do something with it. All right.